It's FB contact, uh, Boris, but stand by, we've got David on frequency on the Isle of Sheppey, and I'll get him to give you a call. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, Mike Seven, ECL. How you doing, Boris? That's amazing. First SSB contact. I know you like a little bit of FT. Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So quite some time ago now, I reviewed a product called the RS918, which was an MCHF clone. Now, if you remember that video, that product had some funky orange knobs, which looked a little bit dodged to me. However, fast forward to today, and I come across this similar looking radio but it's called the UHSDR QRP. Now, essentially, it is the same radios and internals apart from a question mark over the RF board, which is labeled as an OV40. But luckily, I was able to install the latest UHSDR bootloader, version 5.0.4, and the latest firmware of 2.12.2, which actually filled me with some confidence that this radio was going to work as intended. Now the radio supports receive from 1.8 MHz up to 32 MHz and then from 3.5 MHz up to 29 MHz but only in the hand bands in between those frequencies. Now I believe you can change this in settings to transmit out of band but the internal filters will only be supported for those hand bands so it is advisable not to change it. Now the model that I received did not come with an internal battery but you do get a 2 amp 12 volt mains adapter and a 12 volt DC lead which you can connect to your shack power supply or external battery. Along with the power cables you also get a microphone which doesn't actually sound too bad on transmit even though it's quite small. Now, all the usual modes of modulation are supported, FM, AM and SSB. And the firmware also has support for a digital mode called 3DV although I did not get a chance to test this due to no other 3DV transmissions on the bands. Now the screen is a colour touchscreen, although there are not many areas which utilise the touchscreen function. Now most functions and controls are done using the push buttons on the front panel. Now on the left side of the radio we have the antenna connection, which is a BNC type, along with a host USB socket and a DFU USB socket. Now the host USB socket can be used to upgrade the firmware via a FAT32 formatted USB stick. The DFU USB socket can be used for a variety of functions. Now when plugging into a computer, the UHSDR will be exposed as a sound card input and output, meaning you can use digital mode software without the need for external audio interfaces. A virtual COM port is also exposed, allowing CAT control through the same cable. Now on the right side of the radio, we have a few 3.5 mm sockets, all of which are clearly labeled. Now the included mic plugs into the mic socket as shown here. The underside of the radio has an inbuilt speaker and a little pullout flap, which angles the UHSDR perfectly for when using on a flat work surface. The screen is surprisingly clear and can be customized to suit your needs. Now what I mean by this is the color of the waterfall and spectrum. In fact, what you see here are the colors that I chose and these are changeable in settings. Now the settings menu can be a little bit overwhelming when you first see them, but remember this was originally a kit radio, meaning everything needed to be set up when it was first built, including items like PA bias, calibration and power levels for each band. Now luckily, when you purchase a ready-made kit like this, the calibration should already be done. However, if you're experienced enough, then you can go through the calibration procedure, which is listed on the UHSDR project GitHub page. So let's take a listen to see how well this little QRP radio receives. Now, rather than me holding a microphone next to the speaker, the audio was recorded directly from the USB sound card output from the radio. So you get a true representation of how the receive audio sounds. W4 Delta Echo Foxtrot 591130. Uh, okay, do you have a number? Roger, 
Roger, Roger. I'll put you in the log on the side here. 73. Thank you, sir. 8 Sierra, 8 Sierra Alpha Alpha Canada Day. Exactly. Wonderful. Over there. Well, we're testing a new radio about the FT710. New radio for me. And we have very good rejection. So, working fine. Now, what is your opinion on this radio, Kale? Any 1X size with 5 whiskey tango vetrol? Okay, very good, Henry. Yeah, the audio sounds very good. Nice and clear and uh, no problem to listen to. Um, no distortion. You're Mike India 7? Roger, sir. Do you copy? Call on here, Mike India 7, Charlie Delta Lima. Go ahead. Yeah, how are you doing, Colin? Mike in the year seven, Charlie Delta Lima. Not to you for a while. Uh, I'll check me to next time round, but I've got you no problem, over. Roger, that's true. Now you're just blasting. I'm here to meet an eight there. You're good five nine. Plus there to me. Good there. Here you go, Roger. So it receives extremely well, and I'm pretty impressed with the audio quality too. The UHSDR does have built in DSP and bandpass filters, so next up it's time to test the transmit and hopefully make a QSO. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Uh, good, uh, good morning, you are 5757 in the city of Durham, Roger. Yeah, thank you very much. You're 5959 down into Buckinghamshire uh, this morning. Uh, thank you for thank you for answering my call. Uh, say that again, say that again. You just disappeared down on the noise, Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Yeah, you're 5x9, five 5x9, nine, five nine, five nine, QSL. Uh, Roger, Roger, many thanks for the 5x9, 59. You picked up 5x9, that's 5x9 as well. There. A lot of heavy QS vehicle on 40 metres today, HR. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Roger, Roger, thanks for the 5x9, 5x9. Uh, Mike, you're on the line, Mike, you're on the line. Uh, 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 Mike, you're on the line. So a nice little QSO on 40 meters into G. Now when it comes to measuring the power output of this radio, I noted that from 80 meters up to around 17 meters, the output was around 10 to 12 watts on SSB. However, on 10 meters, the power output did drop slightly to around seven watts. Now as an attempt to record the transmitted audio, I used the Hack Green Web SDR on 80 meters. And even though my signal was quite weak and expected due to the antenna used, you can still clearly hear my transmitted audio. Now another feature mentioned earlier was the use of digital modes. Using the WSJTX, a popular FT8 software, I was able to make some FT8 contacts using just 2 and 5 watts. Now another mode of digital transmission which I tested was Whisper or WSPR. Now with just a few watts my signal was detected and that was just with one transmit cycle, i.e. I transmitted only once. Normally with Whisper you continuously transmit. So there we go guys, that's the UHSDR-QRP radio, an MCHF clone apparently, but running the latest UHSDR firmware. And as mentioned before, I was able to load the latest bootloader. Now, if you've got one of these radios or any kind of iteration of this radio, let me know down in the comments how you get along with it. Do you find it of good quality or do you have any issues with it? Anyway, until the next video, stay safe. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one.